uh, season two, episode three of Jacob's Weekend uh, Cooks. We're gonna be cooking up some seasoned chicken drumsticks from HEB, of course. They're 3.81 pounds, and then we got 3.79 pounds, so which is about seven point something pounds. I'm not too sure. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna be taking it easy today. All we're gonna do is uh, put these on the grill, bring them up to about 160 degrees, and I'm gonna throw them over here in my other little area to uh, char the exterior, so they can have that nice crispy exterior. So yeah, here we go. It's, it shouldn't take too long. It should be a kind of quick, easy cook. Short little video. All right, here we go. Here's the chicken in the grill. Got the fire going. I'm gonna be uh, using uh, mesquite carbon uh, lump charcoal with some pecan wood for the smoke. Like I said, we're gonna take these up to 160 because remember, 160 is the bare minimum for chicken. So you don't wanna mess around with chicken. 160, bare minimum. And that's what we're gonna take it to and then we're gonna go and fry them. Or, I'm sorry, sear them. <laughs> Here we go. The chicken's been in the pit for a little while now, getting some of that smoke, so you can see they're getting changing color. What I did, I got the probe, and I started putting them in the bigger pieces of the drumstick. So if those end up being done, then the smaller ones, of course, should be done. But of course, before I protect and send them over to the grill, I am gonna double check to make sure they are at a temp. Because remember, 160 is the bare minimum. We already got some ready to go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probe each one of them to make sure, because remember, 160 degrees is a minimum for the chicken so I'm gonna check them out right here and I'm gonna start searing them. I put the meat probe in every single one of these and they all came out to about 160. One of them was like 159 but that's fine because I'm gonna close this lid. I'm gonna sear a few at a time. So right now I'm gonna take them out and start searing. Here we are we got them searing. All I really want to do is get that skin nice and crispy. See them jump here a little bit. That's all we're gonna do get them nice and crisp. Make sure you keep an eye on them because they will catch fire. First batch is already out. Time to put the rest of these. Got eight more to go. Brought it inside. I already got some of it shredded up. Here's some of the meat. Now don't despair if you see pink, okay? Remember, we smoked some of this chicken for, what is it, like an hour, two hours? So if you're gonna see pink, it's gonna probably be from smoke. If you don't wanna put it in your tacos, don't put it in your tacos. The good thing, as long as you don't see any blood, you'll be fine. And then look at these bad boys. Mmm, delicious. Nice pretty tacos. In fact, I'm gonna take some photos right now to do the little glamour flow, glamour, glamour shots, I'm sorry. And then I'm gonna eat these. I'm probably not gonna do the high speed like I always do. I'm just gonna tear them up and then uh, I'll give you the review after. No oh, man, man, it was, that was something. Chicken was good. It was, uh, today I was taking a little break, I guess to say. I got some chicken that was already pre-seasoned and everything ready to go. Take it out of the package, throw it on the grill, and let's go, right? The only thing was I was doing different was that I was going to cook it over uh, direct fire. I was trying to do like a reverse here with chicken to see if it was even possible to do it, right? So what I did, I cooked it, brought it up to a temp of 160 degrees. At 160, pulled them out, seared them over fire to kind of crisp that exterior, get that uh, skin to crisp up and have a nice little crunch on it. And yeah, it, it worked out. Everything worked out. Yeah, I guess when you're pulling the chicken out, make sure you look at the joints, the little joints, the knuckles, wherever, where blood could be coming out from. If you see blood, hey, put it back on the fire, put it back somewhere where it keeps getting warm, getting cooked. But other than that, yeah, you did good. Um, the chicken, what we did, I put it, of course, in tacos. That's what I always do, tacos, 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 right? Um, the tacos, they were delicious. What can I say? The chicken, don't freak out if you see like pink meat. Because remember, they were gathering smoke for a majority of the time. It was the reverse here, of course. So they had a, a, I don't know, about an hour or two and getting smoked. So the pink exterior meat, that's fine. It's when it's on the inside where you see the blood and all that, and that's, then there's a problem. But as long as you have a thermometer to check the temperature, you're okay. But make sure you check it more than once, more or maybe twice, three times. Just make sure you check the temp because this rules about ah, when the meat pulls from the bone or this uh, moves this way or whatever when you squeeze it juices and all this. Nah, don't, don't, don't follow those rules. What I would say is make sure you buy a thermometer and test it with a thermometer. There's no, that's like the, the best way to do it. There's no uh, guessing involved, right? And yeah, would I recommend doing this? Hell yeah. It's, it's easy cook, something to just relax, 
take take a little load off. You ain't gotta prep it like three days before, a day before. Nothing. Just open up the package, throw it on the grill, and let's go. So this is Jacob saying hit that subscribe button, hit that little no notification bell, uh, like this video, share this video. Hey, leave a comment section and a section down below. So this is me saying peace.